What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Feel the Barber, and I'm back again. But this time is just to review a video. I want to let you guys know, man, about them Andis Supras ZRs, the original version. I've had them for about a year and a half, and I know I'm a little late doing the review, but you know what, man? Hey, it's all right, because I'm here today, and I'm not here tonight. You understand what I'm saying? Look, stay tuned. Let's go to the next scene. All right, you guys. You guys got to bear with me as I go along. I'm going to get better and better at making these videos. But in the meantime, let me give you a quick look at my Andis detachable clippers and the way I got them set up over here. You feel me? All right, all right. Here is the detachable clipper itself. It's got five speeds on it. I don't know if you can see that, people. One, two, three, four, five. All the way, baby. All the way. I got a bunch of different sizes of uh, blades here, if you can see that there. And I just want to let you know, man, I've been using these clippers for about a year and some change now. And I want to tell you, they're real good for fading straight hair. But when it comes down to fading curly ethnic hair they're a little difficult man uh the teeth are a little wide here they do uh pick up they do pick up uh the hair pretty well but they don't cut as close as to me they don't cut as close as a clipper with a guard on it you know like my my masters or something like that you know what i mean i recommend these clippers for cutting straight hair uh it's not really too much. Any questions, comments, please drop it down below in the comment box. I'm looking off screen because I got a lot of people moving around me. But that's all right. I get it done in the middle of the midst of the everything. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm shooting a little jazz, but hey, it's okay. Uh, so uh, let me show you how these things hook up. All right. It's a little lip right here. And this actually holds your blade. Now, what I want you guys to know is all blades are made universal. So that means no matter if you got Oster blades from your Oster 76s, they all are standard size. That means industry-wide, these are standard, the blade. So you can go from and this to Asta, the blade stays the same. Of course, each person, each uh, each brand makes their own blade, but that's okay. You know, just wanted to give you that little bit of information. So I'm hooking these blades up right now. And I have just turned them on. All right, I'm gonna turn the speed down. Let me see what you, if you can see it turned down right there. Yeah, that's the lowest speed. The next speed, the next speed, and then the next speed, and the highest speed, all right? And then here's the off switch. Here is the gear control right here. As you can see that, I take a pretty good care of these clippers. Uh, a little, you know, a little wear and tear here and there, but that's all right, you know. Uh, so, like I said before, if you got any questions, uh, if you got some clippers or something you want to send me, there will be a lot more videos coming. I'm going to show you guys how to make some uh, customized clippers. I'm going to show you guys a lot of things, okay? Uh, I'm a little overwhelmed right now because I'm a little nervous. This is my YouTube video and all that, but I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You know, that's uh, just follow me on this journey. I'm going to try to get out here in Charlotte and talk to some other barbers, see how they feel about their tools, why they got into the game. You know, uh, I'll tell you the reasons why I got in the game, but not all in the same video. All right. So, you too. You take it easy. It's your boy. It's been my pleasure. Feel the barber. Barber life. USA. We over here at First Flight. Barbershop. 768 Tybola Road. 980-299-021.
Hit us up for a cut. Peace.